Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's 25 minute full body dumbbell toning workout. Now let's get ourselves warmed up here. Get going straight away. Good, just step touching now and doing a, a light little lateral raise or side raise here. Getting all four limbs moving straight away. Let's get the heat into the body. Good. And I hope you're feeling good today. Raring to go. I know it's a kind of very damp, drizzly morning here, so um, I love to get these indoor workouts done. Good. And lift. And lower. And I know the weather can actually really affect our moods. I'm sure you're all aware of the SAD and that, the seasonal effect disorder. And But I think exercise is great if you can just get up and get those endorphins flowing. It helps us to kind of forget about what's happening outside. <laughs> well done. And lift and lower, lift and lower. But I don't know, I've never, I'm not, I've never really been affected by the dark evenings and that. I, I actually like going out for walks in the dark. I don't know what it is in seeing the, the clear skies and the stars and the moon. I just, I just love that as well as I, I do love the bright evenings as well. I just, it just never bothered me the, uh, the winter evenings, but it's just the cold I don't like. I think that's why I like to exercise so much. Let's switch up these arms and legs. Four, three, two, and one. Now torso reaches and tap out the floor. Now as you can see, I have a chair set up behind me here. Um, we're going to do a box squat lateral raise. You don't have to. If you don't want to use a chair, you can just do a regular squat and just do your lateral raise as you come out of it. But um, I just think for anyone that kind of shies away from squatting or they, they feel it's too hard on their knees, just try the box squat. You can leave out the dumbbells altogether and try it body weight as well. You don't have to be lifting weights. But it's great because like it's something we do every day anyway we we sit we rise we sit we rise on chairs couches the toilet so it's good we get them into our workouts well done strengthen up those legs and glutes a little bit for us let's do four and three two and one now reach across now i'm bringing back the running man oh no i hear you say <laughs> but again if you find it tricky first of all leave the weights out do a body weight it's still very very powerful exercise body weight and you don't have to go down into deep lunges of the knee you can pretty much stay upright okay just give it a go see how you go so we're doing 12 exercises round one having a little break coming back repeating the 12 and then i have a bonus exercise for you so that makes up the 25 minute workout and then you can include that warm-up too let's punch across punch punch and punch come on let's feel the power coming from those back muscles that shoulder area engage that core now as you do any twist of the spine or the hip and punch 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 come on 3 2 and 1 well done kick forward kick you're feeling the hamstrings warming up here that's it. Mine are feeling a bit tight this morning. Keep down low if you're just feeling that a little bit stiff. Maybe it's a morning workout or maybe you've been sitting for your work, for your job, and they feel tight. They do tighten up when you sit and your hips tighten up terribly when you sit as well. That's it. Good. And kick. And kick. So we've got some great moves here today. And again, I'm not looking for a cardio workout here. You may get your heart rate up with someone, particularly that running man, even though it's quite stationary, it's a very stationary exercise and working isometrically. So which means the muscles are in contraction, but they're not coming in and out of contraction. You're holding it. And a lot of people, people don't really do that type of training. And it's a good way to work your muscles and keep your exercise session interesting. Punch and punch. Good and punch. Now I'm slowing the moves down here. You might, some of these moves might be similar to what you might see in a strength versus cardio, but I'm going to purposely slow down today and have a selection of weights. I'm going to be going up and down with these three kilograms and one kilograms. Just see how you go with that. Good. Let's do our stationary walks here and warm up the ankles. Now I'm going to show you the first move while we do that. Have in your head what weight you'll be able to cope with with this one. So we're going to do a suitcase squat 
and then a shoulder press with a leg lift. You've got to be careful the weights don't make you do this. Okay, you've got to really switch on your core with this one. Alternate both sides. Okay, we're alternating other sides. So straight away, we're starting off full body exercise. Okay, 10 seconds to go. It's a 10 50 sequence today, so a little bit longer than usual with strength, but you can always reduce the work time if you want down to 40 seconds. Let's go, suitcase, reach up. Other leg now, reach up. Good. Now, nice and slow, don't rush it. Okay, we're looking for more uh, strength here today. Good. Switch on those muscles, those little glute medius minimus, that hip area. Ooh, nearly falling over there. Need to focus a little bit more. Good. Sit down and reach. Now we've got some glute squeezes coming next. We're going to head around and work the gluteus maximus for the next exercise. This one's working the glute medius and minimus. Those little muscles that extend around to the hip area. Well done. Now let me show you in case you want to start straight away. And I'm adding a back row. Good. Squeeze and squeeze. Okay, we go together. You want to get the legs first. Get that sensation of squeezing your glutes. And then extend the arms. Pull back. Good. Pull back. Don't lose that little squeeze of the glute cheek. Hopefully you're not feeling it in your lower back. You are actually feeling the the little contraction in your bum that's it and gently retracting those shoulder blades now the push press next i'm going to head up for push press to the heavier weights the reason being push press you use your legs to help out a little bit so it's not a strict shoulder press exercise that's it pull back Ooh, pull back slow it down slow it down good and finish it out there okay let's head up to push press now one of my favorite shoulder exercises but again like i say you're using the legs so you can go a little bit heavier push up good push up and nice and slow let's try and get the legs and these shoulders together sorry i think i was separating it out there which is something you can do but you've got to watch your weight there if you're doing that now together, that's it. As soon as you come up out of that little push of the legs, press the weights up, that's it. Coordinate the two, good. And reach, sit and reach. And we're going to do some lunges next. If you're not able to get into deep ends of the knee with the side lunges, or any lunge, just do a side step next. Good, and reach and reach okay i'll challenge myself i'll hold on to these weights i'm going to lunge to the side or step you can just step to the side if you want to okay and lunge and lunge very basic just holding the weights out in front to add resistance for the legs to work with just again making sure you're not letting the weights allowing the weights to drop your torso too much Good, well done. Keep those uh, posture muscles now. Keep the traps and rhomboids slightly retracted there behind you. Keep those shoulders pulled back a little bit. Two feet together. And now feeling a lovely bit of work going on in those inner thighs. Well done. Box squat. Lateral raises are next. Okay, I'll stay with these. We're just gonna sit down, come up, lateral raise. Okay, again, it's, like I say, if you're good, used to squatting, you don't have to use a chair, but it's just good for anybody that shies away from squatting a little bit or feels it's not for them. Okay, get a good grip on those dumbbells. Grip strength is tiring quickly today. I'll be glad of that little break. Well done. Sit yourself down, come up and squeeze. Good. Down, press your feet into the floor and squeeze. 
Good. And squeeze it out. Well done. And squeeze it out. Feeling those shoulders working and feeling the legs. Now we have a leg repeater next. We're doing three on one side and then straight into the other side. I'll go down for that one. Now I'm going to slow it down. Okay. So leg repeater. So you know your leg repeater. Let's do legs first. One, two. Now you can see how slow I'm going. And then we're going to add our back row for three. Okay. One, two, and three, and one and two and three and again one two and three and one two slow it down good one two three kick for two and three so i'm really feeling the hamstrings working here and back to those posture muscles two and three and one and two and three, keep going. The double, whoops. Okay, I actually did that in reverse. So that was the leg curl. Now we're gonna do the leg knee repeater, excuse me, on a back row. So three knee repeater now. One, two, three, nice and slow. I really wanna work the abs here. Two and three. Sorry, I meant to do that the other way around. <laughs> two and three, good, one two and three keep going one two and three and drive back for two and three Whew. gently bring that rib cage down towards your legs so you feel the abdominals working good well done two three now we're going to do a step back or a lunge next with a bicep curl one two and three and one and two and three nice uh, nice uh, timing there now step back or you can lunge it if you want to okay just step back if you're not able for lunges get the curl in as well let's get those biceps worked we're going to work biceps and triceps today that's it and curl so again, just step it back. Maybe a slight little bend of the knee there might work for you. Good, you can leave out the bicep curl, hold on to the wall there or a chair out to the side and practice your lunges. Good. Well done. Bring those dumbbells up towards your shoulders. Keep the elbows tucked in so you really focus and isolate the bicep. Now I've got some butt kickers coming next, so back into those hamstrings. Okay. Well done. All right. Now butt kickers. So we're just we're just going to kick out the rear here and punch out the seat. Now I'm going slower than I normally do, say in a strength versus cardio workout. Excuse me for one second. Okay. All right. Kick. Kick. Now, you can go one shoulder at a time, which is easier, or if you feel like challenging, challenging yourself a little bit more, do two. The two together is harder, but there's less to focus on. So if you really want to focus on working your hamstrings, come on, squeeze out those hamstrings at the back. Now, they're a muscle group that can be hard to, to actually feel working. Making that connection with them can be tricky. Just bring that heel up slowly, contract, contract. That's it, good. Drive up, slow this down. Drive, you're building up a bit of a sweat. Jeez, I sure am. <laughs> right, back rows. Let your bum lead there behind you. Abs engage, long arms. Draw back into a kick back, okay? So row, kick back. Long row kick back and then long row kick back good and again keeping the elbows tucked into your side that's it and back well done and curl back and curl back well done should be feeling 
the posture muscles as you pull the weights back into a row and then the triceps keep those arms up quite high there that's it and remember it's only the lower part of the arm working there for the triceps keeping that upper half stationary now running man it's come it's on upon us okay up high if you really struggle with deep ends of your knee okay i understand that completely down low if you can run those arms now here's where you might want to put the weights down okay come on keep going can you get down a little deeper can you really challenge those legs keep your torso upright for me now with the other leg to come next and then we're having a little break i think you'd be glad of it and then we're coming back to repeat them and then i'm going to add in that bonus move at the end okay come on drive those weights can you go up a little higher can you really challenge yourself here that's it good work punch it out well done you can do it come on drive forward you're just there stay with me good work well done okay release yourself out of that all right other leg now okay let's get into position Ooh, get that balance belly button tight down now if you tried it with weights round one and you're really tired after nearly a minute put the weights down for round two up high come on challenge yourself if you can down low now you can actually feel your tummy working here if you really bring your belly button to your spine so you can get down lower come on you'll feel the abdominals working Ooh, on fire here today that's it there's a lot of instability created by the arms here i'm just holding a lunge position my goodness your tummy is working hard sure is keep going for the last few seconds punch away back is straight and there you go oh i bet you're glad you heard that beep all right now okay let's stop everything here Ooh, i'm actually a little bit out of breath with that running man i thought i would be though Let's grab a drink of water and I'll see you back here for round two and don't forget your bonus move. Hello everybody, you're very welcome back. Now let's get going with round two. So if you remember the first exercise, it was our suitcase squat. Reach out with side leg lift. Right, 10 seconds to get ourselves going. Or you can go straight away if you feel like you've had your rest. Okay, right, dummy muscles engaged as always. Let's go and reach good and reach it out and again just avoiding leaning too far to the side nice tall spine for me there reaching right up to the ceiling let some air out take in some air let it out good hold on to that air and then breathe it out to get those weights up over your head good now we go for glute squeeze back rows next well done good work and squeeze it out again keep that chest that back straight for me the chest will go down towards the legs but don't round your back and finish it out all right you ready for glute squeezes get that sensation there into those glutes squeeze like you're squeezing water out of a sponge and we go with some back rows now we've got a good amount of back rows coming today really working the back muscles good squeeze now slow it down again we're not looking for cardiovascular work here that's it squeeze it out slowly and you can make light weights feel heavy by just slowing down the move they might feel heavy now round two that's it good squeeze it out try not to arch the back here keep a nice straight back for me good and squeeze and really feeling the bum working now round two it's like the nervous system switches on and really wakes up good and back well done oh my gosh arms are on fire and having said that i'm going to go up a little heavier you notice i just grabbed my step here so i can put my weights down no, so I'm not going all the way to the floor. Push press. 
push and press I'm trying to get these to coordinate together maybe open the legs a little bit if you like it might be easier for your back push and press good some days the coordination is there and others it just seems to escape me <laughs> I'm sure we are we are all the same that's it sit reach sit and reach good work press up to the ceiling well done come on keep going really feeling it good shoulders are on fire today they're really feeling these workouts good sit down and reach well done now i'm going to stay with these alternating side lunges so just going from side to side center up and then the other side and then we'll head into our box squat lateral raise and oh yeah feeling that flexibility coming in round two that sweat on the skin really does help doesn't it good keep that chest upright for me well done look forward and again sidestep if you have difficulty with lunges and as always you can learn to lunge by putting the weights down and using a little bit of assistance that's it good and center up in the middle good work don't rush through it center and over and again those weights are really providing a good deal of resistance there and you made it through okay let's go to our box squat lateral raise next so again make sure the chair is pushed up against something that's not moving on you sit down and lateral raise good sit your bottom down make sure that pubic bone heads down towards the chair to keep your spine neutral good sit down now we have the leg curl coming next and it's three on one leg with some back rows then we're going to do leg repeater so the leg will be going the other direction by three again both sides with a lower back row so again more back rows but it'll hit the back in a different way just a different angle how are your shoulders coping here you're feeling that middle deltoid switching on good work keep going for the last few seconds well done great work brilliant okay I think I'll go down and give those old shoulders a rest and back. Right, leg curl for three. Let's get the legs first. One, two. Now you notice I'm not flying off with high paced moves. I really want to feel my hamstrings here. One, nice high back row for three and one and two and three. Good, one, two and three. Move over a little bit, one, two and three good one come on you're feeling those hamstrings contracting one two three if you want to just leave up the upper half and really focus on that heel coming up and feel the contraction of the hamstring there two and three good work okay now knee repeater now this is a great tummy exercise so take advantage of it, bringing that rib cage oops get that balance down to your legs rib cage to leg two notice the arm position has changed for back row two palms are facing each other that's it good elbows are driving back well done it's amazing when you slow down a move like you're nearly in slow motion I can really switch up an exercise good one two three one and two and three I'm really feeling my tummy working here now two and three good one and two and three hip flexors are getting a little bit of work as well today and we're stretching out the glutes anytime we do a knee repeater well done now step back bicep curl when I challenge myself with the bigger weights we'll go with those okay right move that chair out of my way 
Now, it's either a step back or a lunge for you. Whatever you can do. That's it, tucking in those elbows, alternating the legs. So we're working the front of the body here at the moment. Working those mirror muscles. <laughs> well, we are actually hitting glutes as well. They're the posterior muscles. Well, mirror muscles, if you're not familiar with them, it's a term we use for the muscles at the front. The ones that you see mainly in the mirror when you're looking straight on at yourself. And we tend to ignore the back. But not here in Lively Ladies. We hit them all. Good. Keep breathing for me. We're going to get the back muscles next now with the butt kickers and we're slowing it down again to really feel, feel them working. Okay, all right. Now because it's a combination move, I'll head down and wait. Now I want to get those legs first. So like your leg curls, let's contract. Feel those hamstrings contracting. You might have sore hamstrings tomorrow. If you feel the back of your thighs tomorrow, you'll, probably, you'll know why. Now shoulder press. Good. Reach up. Reach. Slow it down. Slowly. Slowly. If you find it hard to go slow, pick up your heavier weights. They'll definitely slow you down. Good. And reach. And reach. Good. Kick out that rear. Legs are a little closer together than they are with hamstring curl. So you're just kind of hitting those hamstrings at a different angle. About 10 seconds left. Good. Reach and reach. Well done. Okay, that was tough. Now we have our back row. Okay, give yourselves a little rest there for a moment. Now we're into back row. Lead, let the bottom lead behind you. Tummy muscles engage. Long arms, row back. Tricep kick back. That's it. So we worked our biceps. Now we're going to hit the triceps and we're doing the back again. I actually love to work my, my back muscles. I do it every time I work out. I never miss the back. I think it's so important to train your back every time you work out. That's it. And there's so many different ways you can train your back. I know it can be tricky at home, but you can do it. It's possible. Good. And kick back. Well done. Make sure now that your arms stay up quite high there. Just the bottom part moves for that kickback. Well done, and finish it out. Okay, you ready for running, man? No, I hear you say. Okay, let's give it a go. If you found it really challenging round one, remember you could always put the weights down and come up a little higher. If you need a rest, just come up here and hang out here for a few seconds. Okay, that's fine. Come down low if you're feeling energized. Or you want that challenge. Come on. Punch down low. You're working different areas with those back muscles again. Up high. Can you go lower? Come on, let's see those strong muscles in action. That's it, you're doing great. Stay with it. I know you can do this. I know you're very strong. I know from your comments how strong you're getting out there. And if I could, I'd give you a big clap for it in the moment, I will at the end. Come on, push. Push that body a little bit. There we go. The body will adapt. Human body is wonderful for adapting to any stress put upon us, whether good or bad. Okay. You ready for the other leg? Let's get into position. All right. Get the balance. Engage your core muscles. Down we go. Let's commit. 50 seconds. Then we have our bonus move. Don't forget, you're not done after this one. We have one more. And it is two side leg lifts. We're gonna hit those little glute medius maximus, sorry, glute medius minimus muscles again, like we did around exercise one. And then we're gonna do a tummy exercise combined with it. So I'm giving you a good bang for your buck here before you finish out. Nice combination move coming next. And if you want to, if you find it difficult to do it with weights, of course, just try your own body weight. You might be feeling tired now after two rounds of this. Just there, hang in. Come on, come on, you can do it. Woo. Well done. Okay, let me quickly show you. Two side leg lifts, arms are optional. And then two oblique squeezes. 
You're ready. Let's go. Last move. One, two, two. Good. One, two. And you like today's workout? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Just let me know you enjoyed today's workout. I sure did. Had great fun. Good work. And lift and lift. So we got a great amount of likes on the videos there in recent videos. I really, really was happy with that. The quicker we get them out there, the better. Really helps to push the video out. Likes help to push the video out. That's it. Good. Well done. One and two. And a big thank you for all the likes that you give me. I really do appreciate it. And there you go. Big clap for you. Big dumbbell clap. Well done. Excellent work. I really enjoyed that workout. I found that hard today. I really did. My shoulders are absolutely burning and quivering, but I really did enjoy it. And I hope you did too. Drop me a comment down in the comment box as well, because that's great engagement for the channel. And just as always, even one or two lines will do fine. Just let me know how you're getting on and I'll always return your messages. Don't forget to cool down. I will link up my cool down. You'll find it in the description box right below this video. There's a playlist there for you to choose from. And as always, I always remind you to drink your water. Drinking water is so important to allow for muscle recovery. When you're lifting weights like this, you've got to get that water back in. Thank you so much for your company today. Double thumbs up and I will see you in the next workout. See you soon.